Hi, welcome to WorldFit, an immersive VR app that makes exercise fun. In this video, let's go over the tutorial level and show you some of the basics of how to get around in the app. Let's go! Hi, welcome to WorldFit. Let's first talk a little bit about the map. The world around you is directly streamed from Google's servers. So, it does takes a couple of seconds to load. So be patient. If you don't see the 3D map being loaded at all, check and make sure your internet connection is working and you can access Google Earth in your area. Search for your sensor and get it connected. Quick pause. For your exercise bike to control your movement in the app, we will need a smart bike or a cadence sensor to be attached to your bike. If you don't know what it is, please check the README document. Click the scan button till it says, scanning. Do it again if your sensor hasn't shown up yet. Remember to keep pedaling while we are scanning. When you see your sensor shown up in the list, click on the sensor name to connect to it. Nice, your sensor is now connected. Your sensor is working correctly. You know the sensor is working correctly when the engine of the spaceship ignites. To calibrate, hold onto the exercise bike handlebar, look forward, and then press your right trigger on your controller. For the calibration pose, make sure you are sitting center on your bike. Hold onto your bike's handlebar naturally, leaving enough for leaning forward or back. This will make controlling your movement in the app intuitive and seamless. Nice. Now you should be able to see a ring in the distance in front of you, with a green guideline pointing towards it. That's your next target. Try paddling your bike and you should now see the spaceship in front of you begin to move forward towards the target. Try to steer your spaceship to follow the green guideline and fly through the ring. To control the direction of the ship, lean slightly left or right on your bike to rotate the ship. The up and down of the ship is controlled by your body posture, leaning forward would go downward, while leaning back will cause the ship to raise altitude. Excellent! Now let's put what we have learned to the test by controlling our spaceship going through some rings. Use what we have learned to control the spaceship in front of you by leaning left. Good job! Keep going and it will soon feel very intuitive and controlling the ship will become second nature to you. Don't worry if you missed a ring. It may take a few tries to get used to. But it is very intuitive and soon you'll fly around like a pro. If you keep missing some of the rings, maybe you need to perform a recalibration. To do that, press the right trigger menu button. And there is a recalibrate button on top. For Oculus users, the button mappings may be different. Please refer to the README manual for instructions. During calibration, remember to center your body on the seat and hold onto the handlebar naturally before pressing the trigger button. Fantastic job! You have passed the movement tutorial. Next, let's learn a few more tricks to help you figure out where you are. First, press the right controller trigger to scan for surrounding landmarks. Nice! Now you can see the landmarks in this area as you move. Since each scan has a distance limit, you may not always see landmarks around you. If you don't see any landmarks showing, just keep moving for a bit and then rescan. Click on your left menu button on your left controller to toggle the landmark text. Again, this button is mapped differently for the Oculus controller. 
Please refer to the manual for details. Some maps have built-in famous points of interest landmarks for you to select as intermediate goals to go to. Press up or down on your right touchpad and select one as your next target to go towards. When you select your next target, the distance towards the chosen landmark will be shown and a direction path will show for you to follow towards the new target. Congratulations! You are all set to explore the world on your own. You can also go back to main menu to select a different city to hyper jump to and explore. The map is truly endless. Have fun! That's it. Now you have completed the tutorial level and have become a pro in WorldFit. Now go explore and break a sweat.